Greetings, Chuck here with another official Reillusion video. In this video, I'll demonstrate how CC can become a powerful posing expression tool for ZBrush character artists. When it comes to sculpting static meshes, ZBrush is an excellent tool for adding detail and creating amazing results. However, the ability to pose and make facial expressions for dynamic characters in ZBrush is quite limited. I suppose you can rely on ZBrush's transpose tool, but it's actually still very difficult, especially when it comes to smaller joints like the fingers. We can overcome this limitation by using Character Creator's Joint and Expression System to pose and emote the character. Then use GoZ to send it over for sculpting with the same techniques and methods that you are used to using. The first step is to start off inside Character Creator for the base body. One nice thing about Character Creator is that it offers a number of base body templates that supports a vast set of adjustable morphs. And these templates come in all shapes and sizes. We have hundreds of morphs categorized into head and body parts. You can even use the search bar to quickly focus on the morph part that you want to adjust. Modifying the shape of the body is really easy. I can simply drag on the parts of the body. You can get to just about any body shape with these morphs. And I can also drag on these handy morph slider bars. You can also import your own morph shapes from other applications such as ZBrush. Sending the character to ZBrush is as simple as a click of a button. I can also send multiple meshes to ZBrush. I even have the option to split the mesh into more parts and pieces. All of the separate meshes import into ZBrush as different subtools. This makes it very convenient to scope on the character without other geometries getting in the way. You can also open the mouth in Character Creator to examine the tongue. As you can see, the mouth parts includes the top and bottom teeth and gums and the tongue is separated from the body. With the split body part list, I can pick and choose which parts of the body I want to separate. This comes in handy when you need to hide the detail parts so that it won't be touched during the sculpting process. For example, I can hide the eye socket and mouth interior if they get in the way of the sculpting process. The level of control I have with GoZ is quite astounding in this respect. I think you'll find the ability to split the body parts in various ways a very useful feature. Okay, let's change the shape of the body. You can use any ZBrush tool, but make sure to not change the base body topology, such as applying DynaMesh. You can even change the proportions of the body, like scaling the bone lengths. When parts are misaligned in ZBrush, you can just reposition them. This realignment will also be brought back into CC and works for both applications. Press the All button to send the entire body along with the parts back into CC. This handy Adjust Bone to Fit More feature is something that I use all the time. Essentially, the bones are repositioned to adapt to the changes of the mesh. So no matter how crazy the adjustments are in ZBrush, CC will simply adapt to them and ensure proper movement for the body and face. Besides bodies, Character Creator can also provide a number of accessories and entities, such as hair. Let's play dress up like you would with a fancy MMO game. All the outfits are arranged intuitively in categories like pants, shirts, hats, and so forth. You can put on underwear and everyday clothing like jeans and t-shirts. CC has many pre-made clothes and accessories that can be sent over to ZBrush. Well, that's looking good. So let's send it over to ZBrush. And Character Creator can also bring articles of clothing and accessories into ZBrush. As you can see, all the parts and pieces now reside in ZBrush in the Subtool menu. Sculpting the finer details is super easy. Just divide the mesh as many times as is required for the level of detail that you desire. 
For example, I can mask out the lips and add texture to the skin via the Noisemaker tool. Adding details to the clothing and accessories is not a problem at all. Every detail will be kept even after applying different poses from CC. Now the detailing stage is complete, I'll just show the eyelashes again in preparation for CC. I can send the base model back into CC as the two applications are already linked with GoZ. You don't have to cut to the lowest subdivision in ZBrush, as GoZ will automatically reduce to the lowest subdivision level before sending the mesh to CC. As you can see, the shape takes on the changes made in ZBrush. For issues of mesh penetration, simply use the Calculate Collision function under the Conform menu. I can even make adjustments to the body with the clothing put on, and still bring changes over to ZBrush. You can also further adjust the length of the limbs in CC. Make sure to change the template from Create to Relink to bring the adjustments to ZBrush without replacing the character. Now, when we switch to the highest subdivision, you'll see that the original sculpting details have been kept. One of the main strengths of CC and ZBrush workflow is the ability to bring multiple poses to ZBrush. Applying poses and facial expressions in Character Creator is made easy with quick templates. I can even reorient individual bones to refine the pose. Besides posing, I can use the Edit Facial panel to adjust the facial expressions. By relinking and using the current pose, I can send over the new pose and facial expressions to ZBrush and make adjustments as needed right in ZBrush. Changing the pose from time to time is also supported. You can select another pose from the library and combine it with the edit pose functionalities to customize it even further. You can also select another facial template and adjust it further with the edit facial panel such as muscles, expressions, and miscellaneous modifications. Every character supports 60 plus facial morphs for a limitless range of possibilities. I think you'll find the ability to jump back and forth between Character Creator and ZBrush quite liberating. You can look forward to making the most of your characters with a library of poses and facial expressions. So that's it. By leveraging the powerful tools in Character Creator, we can work around some of the major limitations in ZBrush, such as posing and facial expression with ease. I hope you find this tutorial engaging, and I encourage you to try out this workflow next time you are sculpting a character in ZBrush.